and nobody got hurt. Well, Alex is uh, buried to a little thinner on one side of his face, but we won't talk about that. Welcome back to Mid-10, y'all. About to go uh, burn some brush piles today. Well, actually burnt brush piles here, so we got one more we're gonna burn today. Uh, may move a little dirt out of this one brush pile. Had a lot of root balls in it that we burnt yesterday, so that's burnt down. Take some of the dirt and put it in a ditch over here, move this dirt around. Um, let's see what we get done today. Got, may work on some drain line, Alex's house, some fill line. Got a tree stump we need to pick up. A uh, log in the yard has been laying there. Finally got the big saw over to his house, and we're going to cut that up today. A bunch of oddball stuff today. What we're kind of doing today. So we burnt three brush piles yesterday. Uh, these are brush piles. So these are brush piles that we made two years ago. Well, 14 months ago in 2022. In December, we ran the track over for a week, and we cleaned up a bunch of fence, fence lines, and we cleaned up a drain ditch. I'll throw a link to that video up here or down here. I'll put it, it'll pop up here somewhere. You guys can see it. Go back and watch it. You want to? We're in the track. I've got stuff cleaned up. We'll go over here and get the last one burnt today, and then get on to other projects. Let's see what we get done. There's the first one. See, it's not. Well, that's probably the only one we're going to burn today. This one ain't very big. Good small dry brush pile. But it's standing trees right here on this ditch through here last year until we got tore out. So we'll, we'll uh, get this thing started and we'll get back with you here in a little bit. We probably won't film, we may not film all this burning just because we need to watch it, but we may, we may not see how everything goes. We'll get back with you here in a little bit after we get started. All right guys, change your plans number one per day. We've uh, found a big pine tree that's thick over there that was laid down dead. So we're going to drag it off and put it in the brush pile here. We got another oak tree, small one here, it's dead laying down, and another little pine over there. So we'll clean the area up someday. I mean, we got, we got a tractor here, and the saw, and Alex got the saw stuck. It's finally come unstuck, I hear it popping now. He's gonna get the tractor and push this log, I'm gonna jerk his saw out. Cause he's got saw pinched. And uh, we'll throw a couple more, a little more wood in this pile. It's old dead trees, they'll burn good, and they'll get a chance to get everything cleaned up. That one didn't break it. Those logs kept tightening that pile up some too. We got a good pile getting tied. That pile's a little loose. There was a uh, old thicket here. I cut down last on top of the brush house. I just laid the trees on top of it so we didn't pack it really good. So there's a couple stumps and stuff in there. So let's give us a chance to get everything packed down and good and tight. Then we'll come back and cut us a burn line right through here with the loader. And we'll set her on fire. I'm trying not to grill out of the tractor. Yeah, if I knew it was a rollback. They'll get a push up there in a second. There we go. Nope. There we go. We'll get a push up right now. <laughs> we'll get a push back up in a minute when we get them all done. That one I want to stay. We'll get a couple of them up there. So you push this from here. I'll be able to pull it out. we we'll to go get Andy saw in a minute. Watch out, he's gonna come over here. See me pick, he's gonna try to pick it up. Yeah. 
Okay. Right. We'll get it out. I broke right there. Right. Break here. An actual break. I ain't got to worry about cutting it again. That's good. You need a soft spot? No, I just paint when he saw on it. Okay, we'll get her out. We'll go uh, get some more cut. When I get them push the log in there, you boys pull up there, okay? okay just okay. don't. You don't need to be beside him, though, yeah. while he's pushing that pile, okay? You might push too far, okay? So once he gets them pushing right there, up there go start barking at pile. Okay. okay? I just don't need it hay field. Okay, we got this one here broke. It's split. I want to take this one with us. I think we'll maybe pull it down, actually. We'll see what we can do with it. Yeah, it's fine. Watch out about poison, okay, Andy? Huh? Watch out about poison, okay, I think. It's probably getting juicy as warm as it's been. There you go. If this don't pull off, we'll uh, cut it. I think it pulled off. Yeah, that's a pull free. Now get that garbage, that big log pushed up there out of the way. <clears throat> we'll go over and cut it in sections. We'll go over and section it up. And push out on a pile. So I think there's one more pine up here. Then we'll cut us a burn strip. And we'll start playing with fire. Because playing fire is always a little fun. How's that look? That looks good. How's that look? Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. That'll work for a burn strip right there. I'll do another one from, I'll angle it back to the, to the hay field. Yeah, we'll cut another one like that, and then, then we can kind of let it burn in here and fight it. Yeah, we'll go from there. The wind's blowing back in the woods, but. Yeah. I think it's all right. I don't think we need to cut. Cut this maybe. We ain't cutting in half. As much as I don't want you to cut it, because I don't want to cut it, it's got juicy portion all over it. Is it a wire? Yeah. We'll put, we'll, it shove up in there, we'll cut it, end it off and shove it again then. Pull up some, get the chain up under it. The chain's hung under it. Ooh. We voted and we're not cutting this one, got too much poison on it. And it's live and starting to leaf out. So we'll push her in the pile and we might cut it again once it's up there, but I don't feel like itching no more or for a week or getting a shot. So part of it. So let's shove her up in there like that. We'll go from there. We'll watch her on fire and go from there. Well, we got it burnt down. Alex is packing it one more good time. Try not to get stuck in that, uh, Soft spot we found there. If you can see, it's in fact it's got a little, little soft spot right there. But we'll get this piled up real good, and uh, we'll call this one done. Burn up real nice. And uh, nobody got hurt. Well, Alex is uh, buried to a little thinner on one side of his face, but we won't talk about that. We're good. So we got this burn up. We'll call it done. And we'll go on to our next project here in a minute. Not really sure what it is, but we'll figure it out when we get on it. We may be pulling dirt out of one of the old brush piles over there that we finished that we uh, basically burned up the air safe. We gotta go look at it. It may be smoldering still, maybe leaving it alone. We may be going to cut a log up in Alex's yard too. We'll figure out here in a minute though. On to the next project. The uh, bigger brush pile over there we burnt the air slate burnt down. So we are going to dig the root balls out of it and make a new dirt pile. Now make a new brush pile. I'm pulling the dirt out of it and filling the ditch in back here. Alex has got 2955. I got my uncle 6115 and John Deere and uh, Andy has brought his little Alice out. So I'm gonna put three tractor with loaders on it and get this stuff moved real quick and, and see what we can do. Yeah. You know, you gotta change plans two or three times. Like, we'll get this done though and go open there.
We got a ditch back here that's washing this field. So we're taking some of this dirt out of the brush pile, filling this ditch in. So you see, we're actually putting this ditch right through here, which we had plenty around this year. We'll fill this ditch back in. Small times, a dirt pan would be really handy. It's on our list to buy. We ain't found one yet, we won't. We got a couple ditches we gotta smooth out, make the transition sport. I got, I don't know if you can see behind me, I got Alice back here behind me. I got the boys up here on the full water. So we said, she had to count with it, evidently. The Alice got stuck a second ago. That's okay. We got her out, she got her out, it wasn't that big a deal. Trying to get some of the dirt off its brush pile, very brush pile burn out. Basically, you got some root balls in it, you got some stumps in it, so burn will push them over to the side, getting this dirt, getting all the dirt off of these root balls. <clears throat> Make this brush pile smaller. Man, it ain't a bad drive back and forth. I'm gonna take three tractors and get it worked down good. That's less we gotta mess with. I think, looks like, looks like he's getting Alice to, uh, smooth a ditch out some man after putting dirt in it looks like. So and I got this I got this tractor is a newer 6115 John there. It's got a lot of plastic in her, so I'm trying to make sure I don't get nothing hot on her. Same one, this is the same one I borrowed when we had the uh, neighbor's bean field catch on fire back last fall. I had to go help uh disc got filled out. We're gonna chop the brush pile up here in a second and see what we're dealing with. Let me get the camera to stay still. Quit looking at my chest. There, look at me. Look at me. Wanna look at you. Uh-oh. Looks like Alex's wife done come back here. Let's be checking on him. I'll see if we can turn around and see. Yep, you can see you right there. So there's the brush pile. And you can see it's burnt out down the root ball. This this brush pile had a lot of dirt in it. When we dug out this uh, wash, when we cleaned out this washway last year, it rained for a daggum solid week. And we, and the daggum root ball, it rained three days while I was pulling up trees out here with that traco. And I did not get up that time. Bad scoop, bad scoop. Let's try that again. So it rained for three days when I was out here last time. And when he pulled root balls up, you could not shake the dirt off of them. There, that's a scoop of dirt. So Alex has got another ditch over here that he's going to put the root balls in. The root balls won't wash as bad. So there's a deep ditch over there and that other side of the hill out there. We're going to put the root balls in that ditch there because they're done burning. And fill that ditch full of root balls. Then we'll come back in and put the topsoil on top of it. And we'll be good. So for perspective, you can't hear over air dish blowing up because I got air dish on. There's your ditch right there. It's about two foot deep right there. It's just washing deeper. You can see we've been planting through it, so we're about to fill her in. So we're working this for a little while and we're turning the camera on something interesting happens. Maybe it won't. Making a lot of progress on that brush pile. We've got her knocked down pretty low, down to some big stumps. So I'm helping out move these stumps now, or uh, root balls, actually not stumps, actually root balls. Moving root balls over to this big hole. I'm trying to make sure I dig. I grab the cold ones. I don't want to get anything hot with this tractor. So I'm being a little careful with what I get. Uh, but it's not my tractor, so I'm gonna try to be careful with it. Then I'm barring it. This is how I am barring it. They got suns in my eyes. Cannot see good. I'm gonna go and pack it down some since it's easy to art root balls. I'm gonna push them in there so I can just smooth out. Well, I push that one out. So I'm gonna grab the breaker back in. There she goes, back in the hole. Where you go? Yep, that works good. That other brush pile with burnt blades burnt down, basically to those uh, 
few pine logs that burn up good. I figured that pine burn up better, but sometimes that pine don't burn up good. That tree been laying there for a while, but I think it just was damp. Burnt, burnt down to them, so that brush pile's gone. We got another one up there we burnt yesterday. It's basically gone. It's down to the root ball soup. But it had some small sticks on, so we set that back on fire and burned it up. They'll be burnt down tomorrow. We'll work on moving it then. Slow getting everything cleaned up. Let's see what time it is. <laughs> 10 till 5. I gotta get Dylan home in a minute so I can feed that calf, that bottle calf. Yeah, I still got it. And yeah, it's escaped from me twice now. You know, it happens. First time it, uh, I basically put an electric fence around the spot of my yard now so the calf can be in the yard. And if you don't know about the calf, go back and watch that video about my wife bringing home a calf. So we got the ball of calf in the yard, electric fence there. It got out twice, first time they got into the electric fence, they ran through it. And delay, he decided he could jump over it, so now the fence is taller. He can clear that sucker, it's like a deer. So he ain't gonna be in the yard much longer. A few more weeks, he's about to go on a calf lot with all Alex's calves. But for now, he's still there. So I gotta get Dylan home every minute so I can feed him. If you guys see a break in the videos here before long, don't worry about it, we're still here. I've got to, I gotta go out of town for work for about nine days here, coming up here in, shoot, three days. Four days, I'll be out of town for over a week. And I don't know how much editing I'll be able to get done, how much filming I'll be able to get done, because I do all the editing. Now, because a lot of filming, as you guys probably know, seen. So I don't know, you may have a gap in videos. If you do, don't worry about it, we're fine. It's just, I ain't got time to make them, because uh, it's YouTube stuff, let's be honest about it. Uh, we still could we have fun doing it. <laughs> we ain't making make a lot of money on it. So, just having a little fun filming it and going on. I think I'm having a little fun. If you notice, we've been putting out a lot of shorts here lately. Because if you've been following us on Instagram and TikTok, those are the same real, same shorts we put on Instagram and TikTok. And it's basically stuff me and Alex find funny. Uh, yeah, I have the uh, sense of humor of a 12-year-old boy at times. It happens. So it's basically stuff we find funny. We've started putting them on YouTube because uh, we realized that uh, people are copying and posting them as their own Instagram, which is fine. I don't care. But seeing that, that's our post on YouTube for a long time. I don't want to put them on YouTube before somebody else does. So we got uh, some shorts videos. If you guys want to get a laugh about farming humor, you can go watch it. Some of them are good, some of them aren't. If you guys want to see some other stuff, you're more than welcome to go uh, Instagram and TikTok. That's where all are. We'll be putting, uh, I'm thinking, I don't know how long we'll put out a week. I'm looking at probably three a week right now because I got to kind of recreate them. I can't download it for TikTok without YouTube don't like it. And I got a folder down. Let me go look at this, I guess, first. And uh, see what they've done. I think he's throwing a tra drive chain on it. We'll go look at it real quick. Solid chain was getting loose, I should have tightened it up. But I'm in the field in this uh, metric. So I haven't tightened up yet. Should have tightened it up. We'll go down there and look at it and see uh, what kind of damage I've got on this folder. Part of it. Go from there. But back to the uh, short. So. If you guys want to laugh, watch it. A uh, little warning. Some of them may be a little bit mature for kids. So, there's your warning for them. They may not, you may not want the kids to watch them. Be warned. And sometimes they're a little offensive because I find offensive stuff funny. Yeah. If you see that's what we're doing with that, it won't put them out. We'll still put out full length videos. So you'll see those shorts out there. I won't call a day with that. Alex has got like there's four or five good root balls. He's gonna dig a hole and we're gonna push him in it. I'm very good. We'll be done with that. Done with that pile. Go what we're down to this couple is still smoldering pretty good. We're afraid they're uh, catch on fire going across the field before we put them in a the ditch. So we're just gonna bury them. So you work on digging a hole. I have got uh, the broken folder in the back of the truck and just threw a chain off of it. And we'll go back to the house and feed the calf. Feed the dogs and call it a day. Appreciate you guys joining us today. For our thumbs up a video, hit that subscribe button. As always, good Lord willing, we'll catch you on the flip side. Until next.